Hi, Jamie Driscoll. We're visiting with you before the start of the Boulder Cup here in sunny Boulder, Colorado. Thanks for visiting with Provelo Passion. Um, again, uh, Jamie with Cannondale Cyclocross World. I uh, just wanted to start out with asking you about how you're feeling about your cross season so far. Um, well, I honestly uh, t uh, started a little slower than I would have liked. Um, you know, results-wise, I was I was planning on being on the podium and, and you know winning some races more this year. And uh, don't know what it is. I, hopefully, this weekend is kind of turning around. Um, like I, I found some pretty good form yesterday, um, especially considering you know I didn't have the, the best luck out there off, off the start. But after that, I kind of uh, got settled and was was doing well. Um, right, because you had a mechanical yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Instantly, so. Um, well, so you, but you got third yesterday. That was a great yeah. result. What do you yeah. think it's going to take to get um, to get to first and uh, beat uh, like Trayborn and Wells? Um, you know those guys are like Ryan's riding super fast, like back the way back the way he used to a few years ago. Um, and uh, you know I think it's just going to take a lot of um, you know harder training and. And you know, just doing everything right. Um, and you know, if I'm if I'm lucky, I can. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if just my pure strength will will beat his because he's incredibly strong. And um, but you know, the cyclocross is about just strength. So um, hopefully, you know, using using all my um, different abilities, I can hopefully come up with a win here soon. What are those other abilities that you think will be helpful today? Um, you know, the, the technical skills, you know, there's uh, some pretty nasty mud pits and, um, you can save a lot of energy and gain a lot of time if you, if you, um, go through those clean versus getting bogged down. Um, and that, you know, over the, over the course of the race is going to add up to, you know, significant gaps. So, I, uh, I expect it to not, to get kind of, to kind of get blown apart like it was yesterday, even more so than yesterday, really, because yesterday was there weren't too many like super technical sections that you know like mud yeah. um, that really um, yeah like uh, separated people. So. Yeah. So um, why is it that you like cross? Because you also ride on the road, and next year you'll be riding again for Jameis Sutter Home, right? Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So what is it that you like about cross compared to road? Um. I gotta say the 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 atmosphere is is good. I don't want to say it. they're very different. Um, it seems like it's a little more relaxed. Second cross. I'm not sure if that's it. It seems like um, you know you the the races are going to be sorted out on the course, um, and it doesn't really matter if you if you have like a really aggressive attitude at the start. Um, in front of all your competitors, um, because you know that, um, yeah, it, it won't matter at the end of the cyclocross race. But in the road race, um, there's a lot more of that aggressive behavior. I think that um, can actually get you um, get you results um, with you know in the in the pack and all. Um, and other than that, you know, it's uh, it's you know. Boulder's an exception with the, with the weather like this, but um, yeah, the, the, uh, nice the, we day. the weather isn't always optimal for racing cyclocross. But um, you know, I'm, I'm, do, do you prefer it when it's nicer like this, or when it's really crappy? Um, I feel like sometimes I have a you know, it, or if you have it in your head that it's a that everyone else is you know m miserable with the weather, yeah, it can be an advantage. Um, and for that reason, I you know like the bad weather, and I you know I think generally do better in nastier weather. Um, okay. But um, you know it is if, if every if every single race was forty and raining sideways, you know, it might it might get a little old. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so how do you you know when you ride on the road that takes a lot of energy, you practically go right into the cross season. How do you conserve energy for the cross season when you? When you've got a, a hard road season, um, I 
don't race quite as much as my um, road teammates. Like I start okay. later. Uh, I take essentially the, the same amount of time they do off racing. Probably less, actually. Um, if I, you know, end racing at the end of January and then I start racing again in May, um, that's, you know, I think that's only three months off of racing. Um, and I do, yeah, so I start later and then I try to, the second half of the road season, I, I try to um, be conscious of the cross season. Because if I go, oh, okay. even even starting later uh, uh, for, on the road, um, if I go straight into cross, I'm going to be very burned out come November and December. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. I'm sure your fans on the road would be um, happy to learn how it's like, what it's like for you to combine both of them, because not a lot of guys do that. Um, what's your next race, and what are you next looking forward to after the Boulder Cup? Um, I am going to uh, the Ohio, the Cincinnati three races um, next weekend, and then the weekend after that is uh, is Louisville Grand Prix, and then I uh, finally have a weekend off. <laughs> third, third weekend of November. So, is that that's your first weekend off in how long? Um, since the middle of September. Oh wow. So yeah, it was like nine, nine or so weekends. Yeah. Nine, ten weekends like that. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. Want to wish you luck in the race. Congratulate you again for your result yesterday. And is there anybody you want to give a shout out to, like maybe Tracy or anybody, before we end up? Um, yeah, you know, Tracy of course has, has helped me out a lot in the road, and um, you know all my other road teammates out there, and uh, and, and folks back home. Okay, great. Thanks, Jamie. Cannondale Cyclocross World. Good luck today. Thank you. Bye.